The Supreme Court of Pakistan, in its judgment, addressed the significant legal question of whether the Customs Appellate Tribunal, tribunal has the authority to execute its own orders or if the High Court's writ jurisdiction must be invoked for such execution. This issue arose from a case involving the seizure of gold and a vehicle, i.e. by customs officials, and the subsequent legal proceedings. Here's a summary of the analysis. Background. The tribunal had ordered the release of certain items not found to be of foreign origin and the release of a vehicle upon payment of a fine. The appellant sought to implement this order, which was not stayed by the High Court. Now, legal question. The core question was whether the tribunal has the power to execute its orders, given that the Customs Act does not explicitly provide such authority. Shh. Statutory construction. The court applied principles of statutory construction, citing Maxwell and other precedents, to conclude that when a statute confers jurisdiction, it also implies the power to execute that jurisdiction effectively. Tribunal's powers. The tribunal, as a judicial body, has all powers expressly conferred by the Customs Act and, by implication, the necessary ancillary powers to execute its orders. Precedents. The court referenced cases from Pakistan and other jurisdictions to support the view that tribunals have the power to execute their orders, even if not explicitly stated in the statute. Conclusion. The Supreme Court held that the tribunal does have the power to execute its orders under sections 194A and 194B of the Customs Act. Therefore, the writ jurisdiction of the High Court is not necessary for execution. Outcome. The petition was dismissed, and the appellants were advised to approach the tribunal for the execution of its order. Directive. The court also directed the Federal Board of Revenue to take action against customs officials who failed to adhere to the Custom General Order No. 2 of 2024, which mandates the implementation of tribunal orders. Uh, this judgment underscores the tribunal's complete jurisdiction within its domain, ensuring that its orders are not merely symbolic, but can be effectively executed without the need for high court intervention. It affirms the principle that statutory bodies have inherent powers to fulfill their duties and mandates, contributing to the efficient functioning of the legal system. The decision also emphasizes the importance of adherence to legal directives by enforcement officials to uphold the rule of law